Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's Saturday, July 15th, and I'm still in Southern California. Today's gonna be my first full day of birding, my only full day. Uh, my first video in California was about just walking around San Diego Bay last night, but today uh, I've driven up to a place called Lake Hodges, which is north of San Diego. I was recommended this spot by a guy on a Facebook group that I joined, so thanks to him. I'm gonna go look for some lifers, some new birds. Let's go. Just looking for the trailhead, it should be right around here somewhere. I'm gonna start my eBird checklist. If you don't use eBird, but you go birding, trust me, eBird's addicting, so you want to start doing that. Well, maybe you don't, but it's a, an amazing way to keep track of where you walk and what you see, when you see it. Really cool stuff. I've been entering all my historical data into eBird lately, so I'm pretty close to having my whole life list, which is around 185, and I'm hoping to get to 200 from this trip in California. It's been a great trip so far. And I do hear some birds in these trees, so I'm going to check Merlin and see what we're looking at. Oh my. Alright, well, the two birds it picked up are lifers. I think I see one right there. Gonna need the monopod today. I don't know what this one is. That reminds me too, I'm gonna to change my white balance from daylight to cloudy. I can always fix that in post, but I find they look better when I review them. Oh. Oh, it's a bunny. Thought I heard a bird. Huh. So that's a a Bewix wren that I can hear and I don't see. Cool. Well, that's definitely a lifer. Stoked, let's go. That's not a great photo, but I think it's enough to ID. Just want to go back and see if I can see whatever bird's in here. Might be a morning dove, but I'll have to check.
Okay. I think I'll be able to ID that one pretty good if I crop in. All right, that's a good shot of that bird. Nice. He's sitting so still there. I'm gonna go up with the aperture just to make sure he's all in focus. Hey buddy, I think that's the Bewick Wren. Uh, in flight, but definitely not enough shutter speed for that. I need like an 8,000th or 4,000th for this guy. Something up in this tree. Trying to see some more people now. That looks kind of cool. The people walking. I'm looking for this bunting and the blue gross beak. Okay, that's the blue gross beak making that call. That might be it in that top tree. Yeah, it is, 100%. I might have already actually gotten a photo of that, let me see. No, that's definitely a different bird from before in the same tree. Okay, that bird is the one I keep seeing. There's like, an animal I have no idea right there on the rock. But the gr blue gross beak is 100% in that tree. I mean, I have one photo of him, it's not very good, but I'm trying to get closer. There's another one of that guy. I don't know what that is. I wonder if he hunts birds. That's the blue grass pig. I'm trying to get closer. I don't know what that is. It's a super long beak. Let's see what Merlin says. Yeah, California Thrasher, yeah. It looks like a brown Thrasher. This bird from Canada. Sounds like it too. Cool. Wicked. Now, now he doesn't have the gray skies, the background. That looks way better. Oh, sick. Oh, sick. Dope. I'm just sitting here taking a rest and one of those spotted toeies landed right here. There we go, his red eye.
Nice. They've been tricky to get, but that's definitely an ID'd spotted towhee. We have Eastern towhees in Nova Scotia. I don't think I've actually seen one in Nova Scotia. I've heard them, but I have seen them in Ontario a lot. They look actually pretty similar. again cool there's two of them down there Yes, I'm pretty sure that's a California quail. The state bird of California, let's go. I really wanted to see this bird. I had to see this one when I was here, like come on. Let's go, I really wanted to see that one. That's funny, he didn't even make a sound, I just saw this black blob in a tree. Let's go. These are some cool rock formations. That'd be good bouldering. It's like nice and grippy. These white flowers are really pretty too. I've seen them everywhere. I'll take a picture. Cool. I have my macro lens in the car. So this trail that goes up, goes back to the parking lot, I think. I have to head that way soon because my GoPro is going to die and well that's about it actually, I really want to stay. Um, I might even come back down, so we'll see. I'm trying to get this Lazuli bunting and that might be him right there. Oh yeah, it is. I need that one branch to get out of the way. All right, there he goes, sick, he flew away, but I definitely got a shot of him. Sweet, that's another lifer. I'd like to get closer, but the bunting just landed on this tree. I've been standing here just admiring the landscape, and I think now he's close enough. There we go. There's a shot with less obstruction. Cool. Awesome. Okay, before I go, I do just, I mean, I've been saying this all morning, I just, I gotta walk around this corner and I gotta like, see what's going on over here. That looks so California-esque. The houses on the hill, the landscape. I just met two girls that were biking by and they said uh, this fog cloud layer is pretty common for this time in the morning and it is going to disappear within probably the next hour. So they said it's going to be, as they put it, hot as blazes. So I'm glad I came up here early. 
I gotta keep moving and go see the rest of this. Uh, this is actually the lake. Kind of, but they said that they're working on the dam on the other end, so that's why there's no water at this part, but there is water at another part. Most, if not all, the lakes in this area are like man-made for reservoirs, but that's a topic for another day. I'm gonna keep moving. My phone picked up a Bell's Vireo before I talked to those two girls, and then I'm gonna head back to my car so I can swap my batteries, drive to a new spot, so let's go. Some more of these birds. These birds get the award for the most common bird here. Just this angle is perfect because it's like a my level, but I don't have to lie on the ground. Oh, hey now. And that looks like a woodpecker from back home. I don't know if that's a downy or not. Hey boys. Well, the parking lot was almost empty when I got here. Now it's almost full. Lots of use on this trail, super cool trail system. Well, I'm back at my car, enjoying some AC and resting my feet. That was an amazing walk this morning. I walked about three and a half kilometers. I did my eBird checklist just now and I've estimated I saw or heard 26, 27-ish species. Um, some wonderful birds and lots of lifers. So that's what I was looking for. I'm gonna end this video now, um, but don't go away. I do have a lot more California videos coming up. So subscribe to the channel, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.